Mr. Don Libby, and the novels by Edgar Rice Burroughs, with Mr. James H. Pierce as Tarzan, and Miss Joanne Burroughs as Jean Porter. This is an American Gold Seal production, coming to you over the World Broadcasting System and Associated Stations. Tarzan has rescued Jean from aboard the pirate ship and taken her with him into the jungle because he believes her own party cannot properly protect her. Professor Porter's party has been captured by pirates, but Donna escapes and returns to the hut. Jean persuades Tarzan to take her back to the hut. They meet Darno, who tells them of their capture. Darno, Jean, and Tarzan stalk through the jungle toward the pirate camp when they meet a party of mutineers. Tarzan, taking to the trees, drops his grass rope at the head of one of the men and pulls him into the trees and then hurls him upon the mutineers below. King, one of the mutineers, raises his revolver and fires at Tarzan. Now, are you ready? Hold your breath. Tarzan sees King raise his revolver, and like a flash, he swings himself higher behind the screen of leaves. King shot whizzes through the leaves below Tarzan. Tarzan looks down, sees the group of mutineers peering into the treetops. Without a word, with never the ripple of a leaf, Tarzan moves swiftly through the foliage. King and the others are standing still, their eyes fixed on the spot where they last caught a glimpse of the ape man. Now Tarzan is almost over them. From the ape man's hand swings the rope, loose and ready. Tarzan raises his arm. Like a whip snake, the rope flashes out and down. It fetters about Mike's neck. The mutineer pulls his rifle from him, reaches up to clutch the rope about his throat. He feels himself being pulled off his feet. Up, up into the trees he goes. With one hand, Tarzan holds him. While with the other, he loosens the rope from about the man's throat. Still holding Mike at arm's length, Tarzan moves out along the south branch. Down below, King and Philip stand horrified. At King's shout, Tarzan throws Mike crashing down through the branches. A man falls in a huddled heap at King's feet. Without a word, King turns and rushes off into the brush. The other mutineer tries to follow, but Tarzan, dropping like a plummet, flashes through the branches and lands in front of him. The mutineer raises his rifle. As he presses the trigger, Tarzan's hand shoots out. The rifle barrel flies up, and the bullet plows harmlessly through the branches overhead. Before Phillips could lower the gun or press the trigger a second time, Tarzan rips the weapon from his grasp. In a moment, it's over. Tarzan throws back his head. Rapidly, Tarzan picks up the mutineer's rifle, turns about, and makes for the spot where he left Jane and Arno. Ah, this is the only way to fight, he thinks to himself as he moves through the undergrowth. These Tom and Ganny spend too much time planning what to do and where to begin. From now on, he will listen to no one. He, Tarzan, single-handed, will rid the jungle of these murderous pests from the big ship. He looks ahead. There, behind that tree, is the spot where he left Jane and Arno. Jane! Arno! Come here, Tarzan! Oh, I was so afraid until we heard your call. Tarzan is all right. I did not like the idea, Tarzan, of letting you do all the fighting while I stood by doing nothing. You look after Jane while Tarzan fights. Then Tarzan will not have to worry about Jane. Tarzan fights alone. It's better that way. You're right, Tarzan. You usually are. Oh, my oui, mademoiselle, I do agree. When it concerns the jungle, I shall always let Tarzan have his way. If others, Clayton, your father, would do the same, then there would be no trouble. You have every right to scold us, Tarzan. You were right and we were wrong. Because of it, we've caused no end of trouble. Jane, what's this? This raffle? Yes, Tarzan. Now we can go to the mutineers' camp and get Daddy. When we get to camp, how many time can he stop there? It all depends. There may be as many as the thief. We can help now. I have this rifle. Tarzan had his bow and arrows, and you have the gun you got at the hut. Yes. When we get to camp, Tarzan will go into the trees. Jane, you shoot from one side. No, no. You shoot from the other. Tarzan shoot arrows from trees. We can and will kill all of them. On to do, but we must hurry. I have no idea what they may have done to your father and the others when they found out that I had escaped. I'm ready. All right. Go quietly. I'll go first. Be careful and hurry. Back in the mutineers' camp, Professor Porter, Philander, Clayton, and Francois have been set to digging again by the infuriated snipes. They're discussing the call they heard from the jungle. At least we know that Tarzan is not so very far away. That is true, Philander. And if, if, if Tarzan finds out where this camp is, we have every chance of being rescued. All due respect to Tarzan. 
But I don't think that even he can tackle this entire cutthroat crew. Uh, and, and of course, uh, with Jean to look after. Hey, what you love talking about? Get on with your digging. This is the silliest thing I ever heard of. I've kept King's knife to you. I said knife. Oh, did you? Then I'll learn you. When I said Captain Snipes, sir, your hand Snipes, sir. What the? I said, drop your hand. What is this mutiny? <laughs> Isn't that funny? Snipes talking about mutiny. Now <laughs> uh, uh, listen to me, Snipes. We've all of us just about enough of your way of doing things. Oh, you have, have you? Yes, we have. And threatening to kill a man because he won't follow you, Captain. Why, that's a joke. That's about the last straw. You were Captain. You, a limey war brat. Sir, that's about all I'm going to fight from you. Just as long as I got a gun on you, you'll take all I want to give you. You still got it in your head that the treasure is very around here, haven't you? Yes, I, I am. am. Well, then, if you think the lieutenant knows where it is, hasn't it sense to wait until King brings him back and he tells us? That's right, Carlos. But keeping these dear blokes busy will keep them out of mischief. Well, all right. Take them dig. But you won't get any more digging done by killing them when they won't call you, Captain. Well, I ain't convinced they don't know where that blooming chest is. No, I suppose you weren't. You've got that into your head at the start, and nothing will change it. Well, anyhow, the lieutenant knows. I've tried to tell you that Darno was only using that to bluff King and try to escape. I don't believe Darno knows where the treasure is. But in any case, even if he does, we don't. If I knew where the treasure was hidden, I'd gladly tell you. If only you would release me so that I might see my little girl again. i have I think you are barking up the wrong tree. Well, maybe you does. I'm going to get that treasure. Or I'm going to mic all these blokes here and walk the plank. I came with you, Snipes, to get a share of this stuff. But I'm not going to spend the rest of my life waiting for these guys to dig up all Africa. Just because you think it's somewhere around here? No. Well, what are you going to do about it? The rest of the crew is with me. Uh, yeah. Hey, what's the matter now? King. Hey, Carlos! Well, what is it? What's wrong? You look scared to death. What jungle guy, you think? Never mind about the jungle guy. I told you, if you come back without the Frenchie... I bumped you off, didn't I? I don't care if you do. Anything rather than fall into his clutches. Hey, he kids killed Wes and Phillips. Just like they were rabbits. Well, what are you talking about? What do you mean? Oh, well, there's nothing to explain. We seen him up in the trees. And then he disappears. The first thing I know is Mike pulled up into the trees. And then Wes. He chucks them down out of the trees right at my feet. Yeah, and the next thing is, you rock. Yes, and so would you, you limey swab. Phillips tried to shoot him, but it's no good. You can't even touch that guy. And you saw no signs of Durno? No. And what's more, I ain't going back to look. You'll do what I tell you to. Hi, Bill. Wilson. Hi, Bill. Hi, Bill. What are you going to do? Send them out to get that jungle bloke and to bring back that friendship. Are you crazy? Yeah, this jungle guy or whatever you want to call him, just get three men. And you want to send out more? Oh, he can't get away with that. Seems to me like he can get away with whatever he wants to. If you keep this up, Snipes, you won't have enough crew left to man the ship. Hey, men, if you do find that treasure. Anyway, I says they're going up. Oh, oh you won't go, I... Oh. Looks like there's going to be a fight. Grab your troubles and make a break for it if you get a chance. 
Don't you have the rest of the men with you, didn't you, Snyder? Ah, or I'll pluck you. Not while I'm looking at you, you won't. You might if I turn my back. You blokes hurt me. Go out and get that jungle bloke. If you don't, I'll shoot you where you stand. Professor Porter, 